Hi, I'm Mrs. Timmons, and today I'm going to show you how to cite an article from an ABC Clio database in NoodleTools. First, you need to get to your article. So from your LibGuide, find the link to the ABC Clio database. Remember, these are not websites, they're databases. We pay for access, so you need to find the, the database link in our LibGuide, or from off-campus, you may be needing to use our password to get in. So when I click here, I can get to the screen that lists all the databases from ABC Clio. The reason this is important, one of the trickiest things with this citation is to know what is the vendor name and what is the database name. And notice right here, ABC Clio is the name of the company and then they own these databases. So the database name is going to be one of these, but the vendor name is going to be the company's name, ABC Clio. So if you keep that in mind, it will be a lot easier to do this citation. So first I'm going to search all the databases with my search term, I'm looking for articles in Genghis Khan, and it's going to come back and tell me which databases have uh, articles on my topic, and then I can pick the one that seems to have the most. So here are how many hits there are in each of these databases. It looks like there's a lot more hits, as you might expect, from the database World History Ancient and Medieval Eras. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and then I'm going to find an article I want to cite. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that one, and I'm going to want to cite that article all the way down at the end of the page they give you a sample MLA citation so this is the company ABC Clio telling you this is how we would recommend that you cite this now we're not going to copy and paste but we can refer to this to make sure that we've got all of our pieces of information so I want to make sure that you see this but where they're pulling all this information from Notice right up here the author's name. That is exactly what they've keyed in right here, but the author's name does display at the end of the article. They've also got the article title up here. You've got your world history, ancient and medieval eras, the name of your database, and you've got ABC Clio, the name of your vendor. Okay, and then up here, uh, notice there's a URL that includes all of the search terms that you typed to get to this article. Um, that makes the URL longer than what you would really like by adding in all of these search terms like Genghis Khan. So we actually want to find the shortest URL we can possibly use to get just to this article. That's another reason why using their recommended citation down at the bottom of the page will be helpful. So let me show you how to start plugging this into Noodle Tools. First of all, we have to decide how we accessed it. And remember, we decided it's not a website because it's not free to everybody. It's a database. We pay for it. After you click database, though, you have a lot of choices. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you to pick original content in a database for anything from an ABC Clio product. Always pick original content in a database. It's essentially not from a book. It was written for this, this database. So the first thing it wants us to key in is name of the database. So you remember how we talked about the name of the database is not ABC Clio because that's the publisher's name. And actually, I can see it right here in my browser, World History, Ancient. That's the name of the database. So if I start typing in World History, Ancient and Medieval Eras, let's see. I can see it pop up in my short list, and I could pick that and it'll fill right in. So when in doubt, just look up here in your tab and you can remind yourself of the name of the database. If, if for any reason you can't see your tab, there it is right there in italics. That's the name of the database. Next to the name of the database is the name of the vendor. So I'm going to copy this because I want to use this exact same format. It's all caps and it has a dash between the ABC and the Clio. And I'm just going to paste that right in so that I follow it exactly. Now the date of the publication. Again, Using their sample citation, you can see right here, they give you the year 2017, the current year. So I'm going to fill that in. And next is the URL. So remember we talked about not grabbing the URL out of the top where it's got all these search terms? That's why it's good to take the URL they give you down here in the sample citation. 
because it doesn't have the Genghis Khan term in at the end of it and it's a little shorter so I'm going to use that URL uh, you do not have to fill out the date of access um, because it, this is not a site that changes uh, frequently so it's in MLA 8th it's no longer really necessary so now there's only two more fields to fill out and we're done so first of all who is the author and again you see it here at the bottom of the article but you also see it in your sample citation so let me put that in and I think that that should be maybe a hyphenated last name and then last but not least my article title so I can grab that again either from right here Genghis Khan or from the top of the article and I will be done so notice when I submit that and it sorts it all it's going to look again pretty similar but we want to make sure that we always go ahead and practice filling out each field individually and get the hang of how to use Noodle Tools and how to figure out what the different pieces are of a citation correctly. So that's how you do it. Thank you very much.